I think when the club reaches its lowest ebb, probably after relegation from the Football League and, and we're in real difficulties, it's almost you know, evolved and, and discovered really why it exists and it exists for the benefit of the community. And I think that by redefining itself as that, that's how the club's progressed on the pitch and it's really been the work that we've done off the pitch that's propelled the club forward. We live in a, a world-renowned city, Cambridge. It's famous for its university. Everybody knows us throughout the world. I think when we played Manchester United in the FA Cup, you know, what a global entity they are, you know, and that helped put us on the map in terms of football. And even people in the city who would never have engaged with the club suddenly recognised the role that we were playing within the city and the community. So I think that we're a city that isn't just defined by the university and, and there's some real difficulties in the city as well. And I think it's important that everybody recognises that. And, and I think for the first time, people understand now that this is a football club that's a real big asset for the city and the community at large. And, and it's something that can really enhance the quality of life for people within the city. You know, as a youngster I came here and was hooked, but it wasn't just about the football, it was about everything else that the club was doing at the time. So, I just, I've always been involved in the community and it's one of my priorities for this club. The peak of the pyramid is our first team. Underneath that are our development players and scholars approximately 20 players who are with us full-time having left school at 16. Our academy has approximately 100 players aged between 7 and 16 that train solely with Cambridge United and play against the best clubs in the country every week. Our shadow academy has two centres in the north and the south of Cambridge and to underpin the academy in terms of players who may develop at different ages. Our regional development centres have a thousand players across 15 different venues these players continue to play in their Colts and Mini League clubs, come to Cambridge once a week for training and also have festivals and tournaments and school holidays. Our community football programme is an open access programme at the moment with 20 centres but it's an ever expanding um, programme that we run throughout the county. Girls and boys, all ages and abilities and our community sport and community trust is where we work in schools providing all sorts of sports, not just football, fencing, archery, quick cricket, tag rugby, gymnastics, anything to engage kids in activity and sport. Fantastic that Cambridge United coaches can come in and deliver a wide range of sports to our children during their PPA sessions. Things like football, cricket, tag rugby, hockey and multi-sports. Not a lot of young people want to go into sport, but uh, 
career-wise, it can be limited after a while. So you see these really bright kids who want to go into sport and actually not maximizing on their potential, their intellectual abilities. Um, and so by combining it with science, you can get some of the most able sports people and the most able thinkers to pursue what they love, which is sport. Cambridge United Soccer Schools are open access school holiday courses that are open to children of all genders, abilities and backgrounds. As well as offering an enjoyable way to engage with and keep active with Cambridge United, we also teach participants about important topics such as diet and nutrition, hydration, fair play, sportsmanship and anti-discrimination for educational workshops that take place throughout the week. Included in the activities are use of our inflatable football pitches, Zorb football, target goals, professional coaching and the chance to enhance basic techniques. One highlight is always the player visits that the children receive where they get a chance to really integrate with the first team players, take part in Q&A sessions, ask them questions and get some real insight into what it's like to be a professional footballer from a real role model. One area that we've seen uh, great success recently has been our girls only programme. We found that there are a number of girls that prefer to participate when it's a female only session and we found that making a comfortable environment for them has dramatically increased the number of girls that we're able to integrate with.
self-esteem is the tip of the iceberg. You then go down the development squads, you look at the work we do in 70 schools every week, teaching every other sport apart from football, and it's just encouraging healthy living, participation, acknowledging that even in a rich city like this there are a lot of lonely people and therefore you can help people have a better life and using football which is universally loved by so many people is such a powerful vehicle to use. We want to just keep growing, we want to keep um, making sure that everything this football club does is for the good of the city and it makes the city proud of us as a football club. He's heading home and United have the lead!